Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracks will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Greetings to you, my friend. Welcome to the broadcast today. It's our Tuesday broadcast. We give the same name to each and every one of our Tuesday broadcasts. We call them our Tracked and Truth Tuesdays. Tracked and Truth. Those words stand for this. The word track stands for a gospel tract. A gospel tract is a short written presentation of God's plan of salvation. And as my announcer said, this radio program is the radio arm of a larger ministry where we publish gospel tracts in different languages and we give them away all over the world. 80 years we've been doing this. This is our 80th year, and we are able to do this because of the faithfulness of Almighty God and the faithfulness of God working through His people to help us, and they support us and enable us to give our gospel material away free of charge. The word truth in our title refers to the gospel truth. There's a lot of different truth that we can learn from the Word of God. We can learn about the truth about who Christ is, the eternal second person of the Trinity. We can learn about the truth of the Holy Spirit. We can learn truth about what the Bible says about itself and so on. But we're talking about gospel truth, the truth that saves sinners who are hellbound, deserving of hell because of their sin and how they can have their heart and life changed through receiving Christ Jesus as their Savior. Christ died on the cross to save sinners from their sin, to give them the gift of eternal life. That is good news. That's gospel truth. Well, I have a gospel tract in my hand I want to tell you about here in just a moment. Right now, you may not know this, but we are a little short-handed here in our office. So right now, I get to do more of the day-to-day office stuff. I get to do things like answering the phone and opening the mail and so on. Frankly, my office personnel prefer that I not answer the phone. They say, Brother Mark, you talk too long. What they really mean by that is I talk to people and I slow up the work getting accomplished. But then, but then, I get to open some mail and read notes like the one I have in my hand. Now, friend, you and I will never know where God will place a gospel tract ours or somebody else's, or whose heart is God's going to prepare, make ready to hear the gospel and receive Christ. In a moment, I want to read you a letter that resulted from a triple homicide and a faithful pastor. Put those two things together, a triple homicide and a faithful pastor. This note is like one of those things that keeps guys like me going day by day. So here's my question for you today. Who is the most unlikely person you know of to ever receive Jesus as their savior? What do you think that person uh, is holding that person back? Do you see their face in your mind's eye? Oh, oh, trust me, I've got a couple of people's faces going through my mind right now as well. Today, today, let's encourage each other to be faithful, to share Christ even with those folk who we think are the last people on the planet to ever come to Jesus Christ as Savior. I've talked about gospel tracts here. Uh, I have one in our hand. This is probably of all our 41 or two tracts, this is probably my favorite. It's entitled, How Can a Person Be Away? How Can a Person Be Away? And every place that this track is used, whatever language it's used in, this track is just a, a gift from God to see so many people come to Christ. In a moment, you're going to hear me talk about how this track has been and will be used in the country of Pakistan very, very soon. 
This track, How Can a Person Be Away, opens with a person and a story. They're on the fifth floor of a burning building, and there's no way out until a fireman comes bursting through the window and says, you got to come with me. The person says, is there no other way? They say, no, you've got to trust me. The reason that that illustration is so useful is because for a person to get saved, they've got to take all the trust off of themselves. They've got to trust the person of Jesus Christ. This is a powerful, godly tool to share the gospel. How can a person be away? Please be ready when my announcer at the end of the program gives three ways by which you can give to me your name and mailing address. I'll send you a sample packet free of charge containing one each of all of our English tracks. This one will be in it. Or you can just go to our website, which is BibleTracksInc.org. Well, Mark chapter five is open here in front of me. It begins this way. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadareans. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. I'm going to stop here. This man was demon-possessed. Verse 3, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been off bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. As the story goes on, this man comes to Jesus Christ as Savior. I think this man fits into the category of one of the most unlikely people to ever get saved. I think we could put the Apostle Paul in that category as well. In the Old Testament, there's a man named Jephthah who comes to mind as well. In that vein, let me read you the letter I mentioned here a moment ago. It's from a young lady named Kelly. I won't tell you where she's from, but I want to read you the note that she wrote to us. I'm quoting now. I received this track from my older brother who is detained for a triple homicide of a family. He is facing the death penalty. I have already received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, but I love sending in for tracks so I can read them and spread them around. My brother received the track and other things like them from a pastor who comes and visits the jail. My brother said if he had not ended up where he is, he doesn't think he would have ever been saved and really know Jesus for who he is. So thank you. Your tracks have been useful and effective in our lives. God bless. And the gal goes on to ask for some gospel tracks. Friend, that kind of a letter goes a long way to encourage guys like me, as I said. Let me share with you about a phone call I had the other day. It was from a pastor. He called us to tell us that our tracks were being used by a family that had just come to Christ. This local church, you see, has a Wednesday night program for young people and some elementary age children uh, from a totally unchurched family began to attend. And over the process of a few weeks, the pastor and other folk from the church visited the home and shared the gospel. Well, as the parents, and due to the parents helping their children memorize scripture, the gospel seed began to do its work in their lives and their hearts. And this whole family came to know Christ as Savior pretty much on the same day. Well, they began to attend this local church, and as they were there, they heard that other Christian families had family devotions. Well, these new believers did not know what that word even meant, so they did see some tracks on the track rack there at the church. The father took some of the tracks, and each evening, during the evening meal, one of the family members who can read would read one of the tracks. The pastor said that because they read the tracks, these things are happening in the home. Number one, their decision to receive Christ becomes more and more crystallized in their hearts and minds. Number two, their confidence in uh, uh, relying on Christ alone for salvation becomes stronger and stronger. This family is now quite passionate about that. 
The third thing he said that happened is this. Their knowledge about how to explain the gospel has grown. They began sharing the gospel with their unsaved family members, relatives, and even their friends at work. The pastor said that these new believers can now explain the gospel even more clearly than more succinctly than many of the mature believers that have been part of his church for a long time. Our tracks really were not designed and written to be devotional tools, but I'll take it and I'll not complain if God wants to use them that way. Well, I want to stop at this point. I've read you about what the gospel track is doing in a prison. I'll tell you, I've just read about what a phone call meant about how the gospel is working in an unchurched life. Today, on this very date, in the country of Pakistan, our tracks are beginning to be used in a summer outreach. We have been publishing tracks inside the country of Pakistan since 2010. We started printing just a few hundred thousand, and now every year we print about a million, a million point three, a million point five. This year, God has opened the way for the gospel to get into the very northern parts of Pakistan. It's a very unreached area, very difficult area. There's not many roads there. It's a very tribal area. You must have permission from the tribal leaders to get in there. Little, little to no gospel ministry has been had there since about 1940 is by what we can figure. Well, these parts of the northern Pakistan border the country of China. Our tracks are going to get into that area, and our tracks will even spill over into China itself. Again, this is one of the most unreached areas of the world, yet God has opened doors, and when God opens doors, no man can shut. Amen? Well, to accomplish this goal, here's what I've had to do. We've had to take some funds from another area and apply it to the printing process because the printing had to get done. The printing cost to print 1.3 million gospel tracts was $22,000. To accomplish that, we took, as I said, money from one fund to put into the printing fund, and the tracts were printed because, you see, the workers were ready. Even in this most difficult, dangerous area, the workers were ready. They needed gospel tools. So, since God had opened the doors, we took the plunge and did that. Would you prayerfully consider helping us repay the coffers so that we can put money back where it belongs and yet know that your gift is going to enable thousands of people, thousands of people, not just to hear the gospel, but I'll guarantee you thousands will receive the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're listening today, you hear me talking about people getting the gospel. You hear me talking about the gospel changing the heart of a person on death row. The gospel is simply this. Number one, God really does love you, but his love cannot take the sin stain off your soul. So as John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God himself took on flesh, came into the world, with the express purpose of giving his life as a ransom, a payment price for your sin. That's how much God loves you. His payment price is free and available to you, but you must personally receive him, repenting of your sin, receiving Christ as your Savior. If you do, he'll remove your sin stain and give you the gift of eternal life. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Track Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.